Okay, shooters, in this episode, Chase Jenkins is gonna talk about muzzle management while in and around cars. Hey folks, Chase Jenkins from Talon Defense. We're back out at the Mobile Metro Law Enforcement Training Facility, and we brought our buddy, Hurry Up Mike, back out here to help us work through some muzzle management. All right, so managing the muzzle, where it goes. Everything we do on the range has got a purpose or we're not doing it. If we're burning energy, there's a reason for it. Our post engagement process, after we put that threat down, we're taking our environment back. Some of the things that we're looking for is, is hey, where's our buddies at? If we have one that's fighting with us, where's he at? Is he okay? The other thing that we're looking at is, is there a better position available for me, for us, than the one I'm currently at? So what we're gonna start looking at today is what we have to do with that muzzle so that we're safe and efficient while we're moving, while we're safe, while we're working around our buddies or other unknowns that may, that may be close to us in close proximity to us, we're also gonna throw the environment in there. What will the environment allow me to do with the given situation? Because just because I prefer a certain muzzle position when I move, the environment may not allow me to get into that, all right? Especially when you mix that with the situation. So we'll talk about some things where I get to make a decision and any muzzle management position is gonna work and then we'll look at some positions where we're forced into a certain muzzle management position, all right? So we're gonna just work the length of this car today to throw us out some cover and concealment for purposes of the drill. So Mike and I would start out working this problem um, close to each other, but we may be working the same problem or separate problems, it doesn't really matter. All right, so I would get low to maximize what I have between me and that bad guy. Mike's standing working that A pillar. Guns are up and ready to go. So we would just start working these threats and moving through. So from the front of this car, I would push out. I would work my threat. Mike would start working his. All right, we put it down. One of the things I start looking for here is, hey, is there a better place for me to be? Yeah, there is, right? So Mike's standing, I'm low. This is one of those situations where I'd be looking at it and thinking, hey, you know what? It would probably be better for me to go to a holster index. Muzzle stays locked on the threat till I get it in place. Now I'm free to move. All right, so the env environment's allowing me to work around Mike. I would come to this B pillar. Mike and I would start working threats again, right? So we would push out and start working. All right, so here we do post engagement. Mike starts looking and he thinks, hey, there's a better place for me to be. All right, so I would be a little bit lower than him. Mike could go temple index and move to the rear of the car. All right, so as we work these threats, Mike starts working that one. And I think, hey, I wanna get over there and work with him, can't shoot from the back of the bus. The environment is restricted here. I cannot make a wide loop. So the situation, Mike's position, where he's at, the environment being restricted now is going to make me have to get into a muzzle up position because if I go muzzle down, I don't have room to work around Mike without muzzling him. So from here, I'd lock that muzzle into position. Now the body's free to move. I would push up here with Mike. We gotta get muzzle past meat, right? This technically is muzzle past meat, but that's not what I'm looking for. I want Mike to be able to see the muzzle of that weapon. So we get up here close together. We start working this same threat. We put it down. Right, threats are down. Mike and I both do post engagement. We make sure that there's no other threats, nobody gonna hurt us. Again, we're still looking for a better place to be, other unknowns. All right, so from here, we could step off. Mike, you okay? All right, so we know we're safe to go to the holster. We make sure everybody's okay, All right? So we have worked the length of the car. We were able to use our chosen muzzle preference position all the way down to where the situation environment dictated the one we had to be in. All right, Chase Jenkins from Talon Defense. See you on the range.